Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thursday, the 14th of July, 2022, of the 15th week in Ordinary Time, is the Memorial of St. Kateri Tekawitha. My son, say this on every occasion, Lord, if thou seest that this is expedient, and approvest it as profitable for me, then grant that I may use it to thy honor. But if thou knowest that it will be hurtful to me, and not profitable for the salvation of my soul, take away from me such a desire. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, inflame my heart with love for you and for your ways, and help me to exchange the yoke of rebellion for the yoke of submission to your holy and loving word. Set me free from the folly of my own sinful ignorance and rebellious pride, that I may wholly desire what is good and in accord with your will. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Tekakwitha was born in the Mohawk village of Osernonon, Arisville, New York. As a young girl, she lost her parents and a brother to smallpox. Moved by the preaching of Jesuit missionaries, she was baptized at the age of 20, taking the name Kateri after Catherine of Siena. Like her namesake, she was drawn into intimate communion with God and suffered persecution for his sake. Her fellow Indians withheld her food on Sundays and pelted her with rocks as she entered the chapel. She escaped to the Jesuit mission near Montreal, where she spent the last three years of her life giving herself to prayer, mortification, and works of charity. Kateri died in 1680. The Epistle Awake and sing, you who lie in the dust. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 26, verse 7. The way of the just is smooth, the path of the just you make level. Yes, for your way and your judgments, O Lord, we look to you. Your name and your title are the desire of our souls. My soul yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. When your judgment draws upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. O oh Lord, you mete out peace to us for it is you who have accomplished all we have done. O Lord, oppressed by your punishment, we cry in anguish under your chastising. As a woman about to give birth writhes and cries out in her pains, so were we in your presence, O Lord. We conceived and writhed in pain, giving birth to wind. Salvation we have not achieved for the earth, the inhabitants of the world cannot bring it forth. But your dead shall live, their corpses shall rise. Awake and sing, you who lie in the dust, for your dew is a dew of light, and the land of shades gives birth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Psalm 102 Responsorial From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. You, O Lord, abide forever, and your name through all generations. You will arise and have mercy on Zion, for it is time to pity her. For her stones are dear to your servants, and her dust moves them to pity. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. The nations shall reveal your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. Let it be written for the generation to come and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel I am meek and humble of heart. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation Learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. Matthew eleven twenty nine. Have you got it all figured out? Do you have a complete grasp of who God is and His purpose for you on this earth? If so, stop listening. But if you're like most people, if you suspect God still has some work to do in you and with you, even if you're unsure what it might be, then by all means keep listening and take heart. Jesus is speaking to you in this passage. He is inviting you to learn from Him. He is asking to walk beside you and to help you see your life from His perspective so that you can find answers alongside Him. Come to me, He says. Learn from me. Matthew 11:28. Lay your concerns or uneasiness before him. Give him the burdens that are weighing you down and the tasks that weary you so much that you feel like giving up at times. Bring him your questions and even your unanswered prayers. Jesus is meek and humble enough to welcome you into his company. As for yourself, Try to be meek and humble enough to listen to him. Let Jesus love you and carry your burdens. Let his love give you the courage to surrender your ways of thinking and to take on his mind. Let him yoke himself with you so that you can walk together in his ways. Jesus is the teacher and we are lifelong learners. That means each day is a new opportunity to pray. 
Here I am, Lord. How can I learn from you today? How can I rest in you and grow in walking by your side? Sometimes Jesus will teach you by having the Holy Spirit call your attention to a sentence or a phrase in Scripture that seems especially relevant to your situation. Sometimes he uses another person to communicate his message of loving encouragement or a thought-provoking challenge. Sometimes he will inspire you with an inner prompting to do something specific or reach out to someone. No matter what way Jesus chooses to teach you, learning from him and walking beside him can be a delightful daily adventure. Here I am, Lord. I'm eager to soak up whatever you want to teach me today. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.